Today we are here at my dad's machine shop. This is where I do some of my fabrication. Just taking a look around here. We have the lather and milling machine, some material, aluminum, it's my car. Here we can cut some wood, maybe mostly. So this is mainly a wood shop, but uh, you can do some machining for uh, metal as well. So this is Project Atlas. I still have the short chassis on. Uh, I'm doing some preparation for reversing the diff mount here. And the problem with that is this one keeps hitting the both the brakes and the diff tower. You can zoom in here a little bit and you can see how that hits that part right there. So I have the vertical clutch housing and the regular TLR clutch carrier there. So I already done some milling on this part you can see here. I now need to do some uh, removal of material from the vertical clutch housing here. So I don't hit the, uh, the brakes there as you see. So that's what I'm going to do next here to get this going. And We're now done with the milling and we have assembled it and you can see how the brakes now fits inside the clutch housing. This is how the pieces look together. You can see how it's we milled out that region there and here we made a lot of space for the brakes and then the brake nuts up there that holds the brake pads. On this the vertigo I also milled away the kind of support that was here. Uh, actually, I don't know what it's for. It has two holes there, like you need to mount it in the chassis or something. I, I don't know, but you don't have any mounting hole like that on the Lucy chassis. So I thought that, you know, let's remove that bump. Actually, it was protruding uh, a millimeter uh, uh, below the clutch holder. So that was also causing some bending. So, well, fairly happy with how this turned out. Um, it still has structural integrity in the uh, clutch housing. It's important, of course, so we don't lose too much of um, strength there. So that's one more piece done for the Project Atlas.